don't have any of those. Finally, we made it. Where? Um, we're here. Where's the elder? He's coming now. Ha! Oh, <laughs> are, are we here? I feel like I just walked 500 miles. I'm fine. I feel like I could walk 500 more. So is this Ali Afra? Mars is a pretty big place. Mars is a pretty big place, but this town is huge. We didn't come to Ali Afra to shop, Mr. Mayor. We're here to bring in Briggs, the uh, Champa. I know. Then we should go straight to speak with um, Ali Hafra's mayor. We're in no shape to go um, present ourselves to the mayor right now. Look, Briggs is obviously not here. And besides, we already know Pierce is. Silence! It seems Ali Hafra has felt the effects of the tidal wave as well. It looks like they suffered a good deal of damage. That would explain why the Alpha doesn't seem to have any boats or so either. You know, just looking around, I get the impression they only have one boat to begin with. So if you really needed a boat, the only way to get one would be to steal it. Hmm. But wouldn't that cause quite an uproar? Which means the pirates must still be here, trying to get a boat. So you think we weren't actually caught up with Briggs? No doubt about it. That's why I want to meet um, the mayor of Ali Afra before the Champa steal a ship. Oh yeah, I get it now. In that case, let's go see off um, Al Hafra's mayor right away. Um, say excuse me. Where will we find out mayor of Ali Afra? Um, the mayor. Why do I have to watch this? Just keep going down this road. It's the last house. You can't miss it. They literally made me stand there and watch all that. The nerve, right? Ooh, this ain't good. That guy looked like the mayor of Maja. He must have come here looking for Briggs. I bet they'll tell the others. What's your problem? What are you, some kind of freak? Well, what? You got a problem with me? Ah, who cares what you think? I got stuff to do. Scram, kid. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was going to go tell them about the mayor of, the, of Madra. Well, that was rude. All I was trying to do was say hi. All right, let's sell some stuff at the store. They were talking about the storm. I'll get rid of the antidote. I probably should have kept that because I don't have a cure poison yet. I might grow to regret that I, uh, choice I just made. I think I sold everything. Uh, no. Get rid of the mer Merc Rod. Circle it. Okay. Should be good. Where's the weapon shop at? Oh. Never mind. 
Oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. No, we don't want none of that. I want the broadsword. Yeah, we want the broadsword. Sell the axe. Okay, so none of that's good for them. Uh, let's see if they have any special armor. That's why we can get regular armor. Okay. Apparently, I'm more tired than I thought I was. I took a little bit of a nap with the baby. Um, then I got up. I did some more work on my YouTube video uh, for the first Golden Sun. Which reminds me, Chet. Uh, I will be posting, hopefully tonight, the first video for the, Golden Sun, the Retro RPG Spotlight series. Uh... To, uh I'll be posting the first of the Golden Sun uh, videos, uh, hopefully tonight. Um, I just got the ending video stream uh, now, so I just gotta, I just gotta get it onto the video and saved and whatnot, and then export the video. Um, then I should be able to post it tonight. Um, and this is, of course, just so that we can, one, preserve it, and then two, it's available for anybody who was not able to, uh, catch the series live, you know? Bum, ba ba bum, boom, 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 boom. Ba ba boom, ba 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 da ba da ba do. Be ba ba boo, ba di ba di ba ba boo. Okay, so I need to find the end. Where's the end? Sorry, found the end though. I'm actually surprised they have space. I did sleep well, thank you very much. Appreciate you for your kindness. A massive tidal wave hit us and destroyed every every inch of Ali Opera. Yeah, it doesn't look destroyed to me, though. I mean, it's definitely not in the best condition, but it's also not, like, completely destroyed. Yes. Sorry, buddy. He's meeting with some visitors from Madrid right now. Okay, so let's go check out the boat.
do 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 yeah I tried to get as much sleep last night as I possibly could um we did end up having an issue with the baby again last night though she got up at midnight and then she got up again at like five both times it took us took us about an hour to get her to go back to sleep. She was not having the sleep times. We're going to have to get all this junk off the mast first. If we could just get some decent footing, we could have that thing cleared in no time. There's not there's more to it than that though. There's got to be something about that rope over there. Untangling that'll be a piece of cake once we get a boat we can use. Oh yeah, piece of cake, except for that huge rock over there. Oh yeah, the rock. How are we supposed to get that from um the mash from, um under that thing? It's huge. There's no way we're gonna move it by ourselves. Well, either way, we can't do anything until Zach finishes the canoe. Yeah, well, think how surprised we were to find that Ali Hafa had learned to build sailing ships. I suppose the age when anyone could sail the sea was bound to come someday. Let's go inside. I think there's a power bread in one of these. The mayor of Mantra here? You certain? How did he um how did he know we came to Aliafra? He knew we needed a ship and he knew we weren't um went east. It seems pretty easy to me. Well now that she said something about it, it seems pretty easy to me too. <laughs> uh, well yeah, when you put it that way, it does make sense. He was looking to find the mayor of Aliafra. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. They'll probably tell the Ali Afrans we're pirates too, huh? Pirates? That seems a little unfair. What do we, uh, what do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that didn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. Ah. And even then, it's never a lot. Well, what's not? The stuff we take. We never take too much from any one town. Yeah, I guess not. And why do you think that is? Don't know. Uh, because you can never tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Hey, yeah. Which is why we didn't steal anything from Ali Afra. Right. That's why we avoid the risky towns and just take what we need from the others. See? That's why you're our captain, Briggs. You got brains coming out from your ears. Oh my god. You don't want brains coming out of your ears. It's gross. Huh. There's nothing brainy about that. Did you hear that? It sounded like a girl. Who's out there? Well, there you have it, chat. We have just been caught because of uh, the lovely Jenna. What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that someone has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? Uh, what's your problem? Um, what's your point? You have to come with us and attest to that man's innocence. And why would I want to do something like that? Oh ho! I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave us no choice. We'll bring you in against your will if we must. But either way, you're coming with us. Chat ad starts right now. Enjoy the ad. It's egg time!
enjoy the ad. See you in a minute. All right. While that ad is playing, chat, I'm going to run upstairs real quick and grab me a bit of a chocolate snack. BRB. A few moments later. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the ads. Hopefully they weren't too uh, aggressive. I got my candies. I'm ready to go. Isn't that right, Felix? Yep. Good for you. Let's teach these guys a lesson. You don't stand a chance. Uh, you don't stand a chance. We're hard criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. Watch yourselves. You self-righteous little brats. You're the ones uh, with a lesson to learn. Brave Sea Fighter. Is he going to call for help immediately though or does he wait a little bit? Um, I feel like we should kill the Sea Fighter first, right? Oh, you know what? Let's use these oil drops. Weasel Claw. Yeah, because I'm not planning on doing anything like attacking with her. Who's that? Wow, we killed them all already. Impact. I mean, more experience, right? Beam and a plasma shot. I'll right, we'll use another old drop. Flare wall. Impact on our uh, Felix. I just want to make sure it didn't drop it down to zero. Oh, he hit me with an oil drop too. She should be fine, right? You know what? We'll use an herb on her anyway. Woo! That was strong. We'll see we'll stop doing that. Alright, let's impact on him. Felix. Alright, level 12 flame user. Level 12 magician. Well, that takes care of that. Well, that takes care of that. I'm willing to, um, and I'm willing to bet everyone Briggs has been harassed and will be quite happy to hear it. This should set everyone in Indra at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We lost. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just, like, just because I lost. 
Go on, hand this over to Maja or Ali Hoffer or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell the Majas that the man called Pierce is innocent. Fine. So what, I just have to say that Pierce isn't one of my men? Yep. That's right. You tell the Majas that and they can release their prisoner. We secured Briggs' vow. We should take him to the Madrids. Wait! Can you find it in your hearts to forgive Briggs and his men? And who are you? My name is, um, was it Cha? Is it Chaucha? I think it's Chaucha. I am Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate too? No. Uh, no, Chaucha has, hasn't done a thing. Let her be. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. And I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, um, if you know all that, how can you ask us just to forgive him? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Champa. We Champa, uh, we Champa, it's where this says we Champa instead of we champions. I feel like they missed a, a great opportunity to make a pun out of the name. We are the champions, my friend. <laughs> we chomp are seafaring folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once could. The oceans have warmed and the fish have vanished from our waters. The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops. So you have so you have no grain and no meat. Sounds like the life um sounds like life in Champa is hard. It's not hard. It's unbearable. Our children can eat. Our village is dying. These men promised return with food enough for all of our people, but they found none. So became pirates, thieves. We don't know where Tampa is. It sits on the southeast corner of Angara. Southeast Angara? Isn't that where, um, isn't that near Zion and Lama Temple? You have a good memory. If you were to um, head south through the mountains, you'd find it. It's so far away. Well, yeah. You think we could be successful pirates so close to home? If they raid any towns near Tampa, it would be obvious to all who the attackers were. And no one back home would forgive me if they knew, not even my grandmother. But where does that leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here on Indra? I'm shocked, I tell you, shocked. So what's so shocking? Looks like they really are pirates, just like you said. Mr. Mayor, I'm appalled that you could not take our word for it. He probably wouldn't even have believed me, uh, believed we were from Maja if the mayor hadn't come. Am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Is this your position, Mayor? How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave could wash Indra into Oceania? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Maja all the way to Aliafra. Sounds to me like you have forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than 10 years ago now. 20 years? It's been 20 years since I last saw you. Has it really been so long? It's been a long time indeed. I guess we can't blame you for forgetting his face. Don't be silly, I didn't forget his face. His face merely changed. <clears throat> forgive my interrupting. Your uh forgive my interrupting your interruption, but Would I be correct in assuming that I am speaking to the leaders of Maja and Ali Opera? You are correct. I am the mayor of Maja. And I am Are they just talking in emojis? I am the mayor of Aliafra, and I am Maja's town elder. And 
and I am a close personal friend of Shen, whose lover was injured by the Chapa. I am the Scholar Cretan. He is Felix, the leader of our group. And I am Jenna, Felix's sister. I am called Shiva. I come from the town of Lalivera. Now, what errand has brought you all here? We came for Briggs. The mayor of Majar claims. We follow Briggs here from Maja. Of course, we have good reason to suspect them of being pirates. <clears throat> and I was honestly taken aback to hear our businessmen being slandered. If they truly were pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Because the very funds they used to purchase the ship was pillaged from our homes! If the ship was bought with Majin gold, then it belongs to the Majins. What do you say? If you give them the ship, will that fix everything? Then where will you go? I won't run, and I won't hide. Actually, I don't fill up for much of anything right now. Then you probably won't mind being locked up, will you? Riggs? Don't worry, Chow Cha. I'll be back. Take care of the, um, Eolio. That was a really interesting name choice, Eolio. Your strange power surprised me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. We'll be taking the, that boat then. You're taking our ship? You're worse than we ever were. Aren't you at least going to pay us for the boat? Quiet, all of you. Do as you must, but I have one request. You have to let Chao Cha and Elio stay in the boat until um, it's repaired. You haven't done Elio for any harm breaks. At least keep them locked up until the boat is repaired. And our prisoner, Pierre, is he one of your men? I don't know any peers. Sounds like uh, sounds to me like you've made a pretty big mistake. See, it's just as I said. Pierce is innocent. You must return to Maja and free him immediately. Me? What alone? What alone? Only two of us will remain here. You can return to Maja with the others. Understood. We'll return immediately. Can you come with us, please? Imagine. Asking the criminals to please come this way. Looks like that wraps this whole mess up. Let us return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. You say your name is Cred. Thank you very much for the help with Briggs. If you have time, please come see me at the mansion before you go. It's nothing special, but I would like to thank you for everything you've done. Why do I get the feeling the mayor of Aliopra prefers to deal with my father over me? Thank you all very much. Due to your efforts, Pierce is going to be released. And now, this fine ship belongs to Maja. None of this would have come to pass uh, were it not for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Oh, pish posh, we don't need a, a, any reward, do you, Felix? Ha! Your honesty is refreshing, Felix. So, what shall you? Uh, what shall we do? I know. Go to Maja after our boat has been fixed and we've set, um we've sailed home. We are still recovering from the effects of the tidal wave, so it won't be much. But we do want to give you some kind of reward. We should. Um. Well, shall we? Um. Shall we be going? No, I still got stuff on the ship to do. I see, so... Oh, no, nothing. Never mind. I do get to stay on the boat, right? At least until it's repaired? Yes. That's where I'll be if you need me. With Ilio, um, Iolio. I feel 
kind of bad for Chaucha. What can we do about it? After all, she's the one who married the whole pirate. So, what should we do now? I suggest that we try to find Pierce. He can prove enlightening. That's true. He seems to be a water adept. He might be able to tell us a little about these lands. Do you think we should help them um, fix the boat? Say, if we help with the boat, maybe they'll give it to um, give us a ride back to Maja. Good idea. What do you say, Felix? All right, let's go see what we can do to get that thing up, sail up and sailing again. First, move. Where was she even hiding? Oh, I don't have trimmer. I gotta get the trimmer bit. Where is the Elio? Maybe they, maybe they went to the prison. You do plan to help with the mask, right? Not even Briggs had, um, and his pirates could fix that mask. How are we supposed to? They need our help. We at least have to try. Isn't that right, Felix? Well then, we better get right to it, hadn't um, had we? Okay, I definitely was facing the right way when that happened. Jump on over and push this down. Alright, now we jump over here. Okay. Only thing really left is the rock that we can't do anything about right now. Can't go down here now, though. Move that in place. Um... Just have to be directly below it for that to work. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Forgot. I forgot to go up here. Phone lover 92, thank you for the follow. Welcome on to the Bushy family. How are you feeling today? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier, but happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, this one's all for you, of course. Thanks for your, your uh, service to the country. We, myself included, and greatly appreciate all that you have done. Love your game, your favorite in the series. I think this one is probably most, if not everybody's favorite in the series, right? Um, it greatly expands upon what was offered in the first Golden Sun. Um, adding more summons, uh, a longer, well, what to me felt like a longer story. Yeah, I love this one. Don't get me wrong, the first one's great too, but I... I, I just love all the uh, the different stuff added to this. Um, there's nothing we can do about this rock. I don't know what we're going to do about this rock. I think we've done all we can do here. Let's get going. Don't get me wrong, though. Dark Dawn was pretty good, too. I don't know, though. 
I just feel like this game... Sorry, I have a bunch of emails that came out of nowhere about jobs. But yeah, I, don't, I feel like this game just does it. It just did it right. It did it right the first time. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Dark Dawn that doesn't strike a chord with me. Like, uh... Uh, like, uh, Lost Age did. Sorry, this is a job opportunity that I might... Oh, nope. Requires a bachelor's degree. I don't have that. <laughs> but yeah, so how are you doing today, uh, iPhone lover? Hope you're feeling well. Uh, so maybe we should start searching for another ship then. Not that I was planning on borrowing the Majin ship. Although, I did plan on asking them if we could use it once we got back to Majra. But it doesn't look like this ship will be leaving anytime soon. So I think maybe we should just forget about that and start our, um, on our way again, Felix. Yeah, we'll come back later. We'll fix the ship up nice and right. A do, 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 do. I'm so hungry, I can't. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to give him the power bread, right? But I don't have the trimmer bit. So I can't, uh, I can't do that yet. Uh, let's see, I have the smoke bomb we don't need because of that. Yeah, because I don't have that trimmer bit. I can't complete that, that portion of the, uh, the infinite quest that I believe ends up leading us to a, a Jenny? I think it's either a Jenny or it leads us to a special zone that gives like an item or something like that. Um, if we are able to collect all the Jenny, we will fight the, the secret bosses. So we're going to be playing this for quite some time. Um, let's go and see the mayor because he owes me something for doing the ding. You know the thing where we save the town? Yeah, that thing. And he's gonna pay what he owes. Darn that mayor. I thought he'd um, get that mask fixed up for us right away. I'm starting to think the mayor probably Aqua would never planned on repaying that boat at all. I was a fool to believe he would help us. I don't know if I call you a fool. But even I can tell you that that mayor had no intention of uh, even giving you the boat. Do I go to Ayers Rock now, or should I get... No, I think it's probably better to get Pierce first, then try Ayers Rock, right? I think we'll do. I think we'll go for Pierce first, then we'll, uh... Get her... Get out the way! Oh my god! I'm trying to check the jar, and the girl will get out the way! <laughs> Rinks tells me there are no huge towns on the continent that lies across the Eastern Sea. Tells me that by trading with one another, all of these towns prosper and grow. I've made a decision. If Ali Hafra is to prosper, then we must trade too. Trade and grow. I want to build an entire trade fleet and make lots of money. Still, there must be other pirates and freeluders still roaming the high seas. Felix, Rinks told me you and your friends fought with great strength. If you could lend me that strength, we would need not fear any pirates. 
So if you'd be willing to help us out, our town could begin trading and prospering. What do you say? We have a deal? Nope. Ah, such a pity uh, that you don't see the potential of this partnership. I certainly hope you will reconsider. We stand to make a lot of money. I'm not in it for the money. I'm sure the mayor has his reasons for halting repairs in the sailboat. The mayor feels that Marja should only get back what was stolen from them. Nothing more. But now, it seems the margins are getting the better end of the deal. The mayor thinks it's unfair that Marja should benefit while Alahafra suffers. I mean, you guys got a large sum of money for the selling that ship. So you're trying to tell me that the money that was stolen from Maja won't be given back to them? But at the same time, they can't have the ship too? You guys are turds. So now you get to keep the ship and the money. And now they're saying that the Majans have to pay them to help fix the boat. The boat that they were already paid to sell to somebody else. Then the boat was given by the people that bought it uh, to somebody else. I shake my head at them. That's the that's the height of greediness right there. You here to see Briggs? Chaucha, it's good to see you. And you too, um, Eolio. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. How's yourself? Is there anything I can do to make these um, make things easier of you? I'm fine, Chaucha. My only complaint is that food here is terrible. What? Are they forcing you to eat this disgusting gruel? Now wait a second. First of all, it's not disgusting, it's nutritious. And besides, you're in jail. What did you expect? Gourmet cuisine? Yo-yo. Uh, add time, everybody. 